everyone this is your mentor from creative connect learning and so it's friday and i have bringed you another after effects tutorial based on right on effect with some different approach so let's jump into after effects but before that let's see what we are going to create today have a look at this video So as you have seen the video quite a decent looking right on effect so now let's jump into after effects and start creating the right on text effect so we'll start with creating a new composition with a width of 1920 and a height of 1080 pixels with a frame rate of 25 fps and then hit ok this will create a new composition for me and uh, now let's start creating the right on text effect let's take a text layer and we'll write a simple text over here uh, such as hello so very simple text and it will not take time to trace the whole text for you so after creating a text layer and typing and uh, typing a word we'll cr uh, create a new shape layer over here and we'll start tracing this text before start tracing uh, please note that your fill option should be none is on none if it is on solid color as it is in default settings then just take it to none value so that you will not get a fill color over here and uh, stroke color should be as you like whatever stroke color you want you can take uh, from here and this should be uh, two pixels initial C initially and then we'll start creating our not creating we'll say it uh, let's start tracing our text and I'll rename my uh, text layer as H shape layer sorry as H now take a point over here and hold shift it will create a straight line for you and then we'll what we'll do is we'll increase the stroke width so that it will cover the whole text over here and then we'll trace it like this create another line for center and then another line horizontally hold shift and it will create another stroke for you and then we'll create another shape layer for E like this and we'll take a single stroke like this and then we'll click over here and then we'll create another line like this you can hold shift to create a straight line over here and then Oops, sorry you don't uh, you don't have to create a uh, separate layers for a single alphabet you can create s these strokes in single layer for single alphabet you have to take separate layers for separate alphabets but but for single alphabet you have to create us you have to create these stroke in the same layer only okay and then we'll create another stroke like this okay and then let let's let us adjust this uh, stroke so that it covers the whole alphabet like this in such a manner that it will not that our alphabet not peeps out from our stroke so after uh, tracing these two alphabets I'll rename it as E and then by the time being I'll trace my whole text over here and I'll come back so hello guys I have traced the whole text for you now let's rename it as uh, O and for example uh, you can see that uh, for O I have 
clearly uh, maintain the shape of the alphabet so for curve uh, curve curve alphabets you have to maintain the proper shape of that alphabet okay and then one thing should be noted that this stroke can come out of the alphabet but should not leave a space over there like this so wherever you see this such kind of space just let's cover uh, this space by dragging our alpha, uh, stroke and then now what we'll do is we'll animate these shape layers or uh, these strokes uh, will take a property from a uh, shape layer named as trim paths what trim paths do is it trims your path like this so we'll animate this uh, trim path endpoint like this uh, initially it should be uh, on 0 and then we'll go to around 20 frames and then we'll make it 100 now we don't have to uh, animate all the alphabets like this what we'll do is we'll press U uh, select H layer and press U and copy these keyframes and uh, make sure that your playhead should be uh, on first frame and then we'll paste the keys for E paste the keys for L and for same L and for O so now this is how our text is animated now you can see that some uh, some problems still persist over here but to solve that problem we have to do is will take our text to upper but before that what what we'll do is we'll will select these layers select H first and then O so that it will sequentially select the uh, the text over here and then control shift D that will split our layers and delete these and then what we'll do is similarly select H and O once again and make sure our playhead should be on first frame and then we'll go to animation keyframe assistant and sequence layers so uh, by default overlapping option is off let's keep it on and uh, this should be your duration it's around 20 and transition should be off and then ok this will do is this will sequence your layers like this ok so now what we'll do is we will increase the length of our text layer so that our animation last for around uh, 100 frames or you can take your uh, frames according to your animation preferences and then we'll trim our composition trim comp to work area so this is how you can create a simple write on effect so as we have discussed that the, there is still some problem persisting so to solve that problem what we'll do is we'll take this text layer and take it to top and we'll press F4 to activate the blending option and we'll take it to stencil alpha now let's see what effects it will give us what it will do is it will cut these uh, strokes into exact what the alpha we have so now let's pre-comp these whole layers control shift C and move all attributes into new layer now we'll make a duplicate let's take it as hello underscore text animation okay uh, and then we'll create a four or five duplicate layers as much as you can and you can now after three frames press three go to third frame and select this layer and press bracket and then we'll go to sixth frame and then press us uh, match the endpoint with the playhead and then we'll go to ninth frame and then match the endpoint over here and then we'll go to twelfth frame and then match endpoint of that now what we'll get is similar effect so after that we'll take a tint and apply it to the 
topmost layer you can see that it will it's it is start changing colors so will what we'll do is map black to our white and uh, map white to white and then we'll copy the effect control C and then paste here and we'll can we can change uh, black to red and white to same red and then we'll paste the effect and then we'll map black to some around green and then map white to same this green and then copy paste the effect map black to something around bluish and map white to same blue color like this and this is how this is what we get okay now we'll uh, now we'll switch uh, we'll go into our pre comp and then we'll on the motion blur for each and every layer in our composition and this will create a effect of I don't think so it had affected so doesn't matter you can change your motion blur settings according to your needs so now this is what we get after doing all this okay you can speed up your animation according to your needs you can change your colors according to your needs you can copy as much as layers according to your needs it's up to you but it's a basic write on effect uh, with a different approach so so this was the tutorial for the day and uh, thanks for watching my tutorial and uh, if you like the tutorials please subscribe us on creative connect learning for latest tutorials and video updates thank you for watching